Welcome to Different Worlds, where we showcase the legacies and journeys of the billionaires of the current time. What do you think of when you hear the name Zara? A trendy fashion brand that offers stylish clothes at reasonable prices. But did you know that behind this brand is a man who rose from rags to riches, who faced many obstacles and controversies, and who became one of the most influential and respected entrepreneurs in the world? His name is Amancio Ortega, and this is his story. Today, we're going to be talking about Amancio Ortega Gaona, the Spanish businessman who is the founder and former chairman of Inditex, the world's largest apparel retailer. He was born in 1936 in A Coruña, Spain, to a working-class family. His father was a railway worker, and his mother was a maid. When Ortega was 13 years old, he went to work as a shop assistant in a local haberdashery. After working in the garment industry for several years, Ortega decided to start his own business. In 1975, he opened his first Zara store in A Coruña. Zara was a revolutionary concept at the time. It offered fast fashion, meaning it could quickly produce new designs and bring them to market. This was in contrast to the traditional fashion industry, which was slow and inflexible. Zara was an instant success. Ortega expanded the chain rapidly, and by the 1990s, it was one of the largest fashion retailers in Spain. In 1999, Inditex, the holding company for Zara and other brands, went public. Ortega's net worth soared, and he became one of the richest people in the world. Ortega's success is due to a number of factors, including his keen eye for fashion, his ability to identify and exploit trends, and his commitment to quality. He is also a notoriously frugal businessman, and he has always reinvested heavily in his business. One of Ortega's key strategies is to keep production close to home. Zara's factories are located in Spain and Portugal, which allows the company to quickly respond to changes in demand and fashion trends. Zara also has a very short lead time, meaning that it can get new designs from the runway to the store in as little as two weeks. Another key strategy is to offer a wide variety of products at affordable prices. Zara's stores are constantly stocked with new items, and the company offers discounts throughout the year. This makes Zara a popular choice for shoppers who want to be fashionable without spending a lot of money. But Amancio's vision extended far beyond the confines of Zara. He nurtured the Inditex Group, a conglomerate housing beloved brand brands like Pull and Bear and Massimo Dutti, reshaping the global fashion landscape. The Inditex Group was formed in 1985 as a holding company for Zara and other brands that Amancio created or acquired over the years. The group operates in over 200 markets with more than 5,800 stores and online platforms, offering a diverse and quality fashion proposition for different segments and tastes. The group's unique business model is based on four pillars, an extraordinary team, a customer-oriented approach, an integrated shopping experience, and a commitment to sustainability and responsibility. The group's innovation capacity is evident in its numerous projects that enhance its products, processes, and impact such as pre-owned store mode, virtual footwear try-on, and microfiber reducing detergent. The group's financial performance has been resilient despite the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, achieving net sales of 20.4 billion euros and net income of 1.1 billion euros in 2020. Ortega is known for his work ethic. He is said to work long hours seven days a week. He is also a very hands-on manager, and he is involved in all aspects of his business, from product design to store operations. Ortega's hard work and dedication have paid off. He is now one of the richest people in the world, and his company, Inditex, is a global powerhouse. Zara is one of the most popular fashion brands in the world, and it has over 2,000 stores in over 90 countries, Every success story is marked by hurdles. In Amancio's case, these challenges were met with unyielding determination. But what exactly were these obstacles, and how did he surmount them? Throughout his career, Amancio faced numerous obstacles in the highly competitive world of fashion retail. His relentless commitment to quality and his vision for fast fashion were met with skepticism and resistance. 
Critics questioned the sustainability of the fast fashion model, but he remained steadfast in his beliefs. Controversies, too, were not unknown to Amancio. His business practices and success invited scrutiny. However, his frugal nature and the ability to reinvest heavily into his business kept him focused on his goals, unfazed by the controversies that occasionally surrounded his empire. Ortega's legacy is one of innovation and success. He revolutionized the fashion industry with his fast fashion concept, and he made Zara one of the most popular clothing brands in the world. Ortega is also a role model for entrepreneurs everywhere. His story shows that it is possible to achieve great things even if you come from a humble background. As we conclude our journey through Amancio Ortega's remarkable life, it's evident that his major achievements, the challenges he overcame, and the lessons he leaves behind remind us that with dedication, vision, and unwavering hard work, anyone can rise from humble beginnings to extraordinary success. Ortega's success is due to a number of factors, including his keen eye for fashion, his ability to identify and exploit trends, his commitment to quality, and his willingness to work hard. He is also a notoriously frugal businessman and he has always reinvested heavily in his business. Ortega is the richest man in Spain and the 23rd richest person in the world, according to Forbes. Inditex generated over 28 billion euros in revenue in 2022. Zara is the largest brand in the Inditex portfolio, accounting for over 60% of the company's sales. Ortega retired as chairman of Inditex in 2011 but he remains the company's largest shareholder. Ortega is a very private person, and he rarely gives interviews. Thank you for watching this episode of Different Worlds. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more captivating stories of success from around the globe.